Breaking news, Governor Sani Bello out of Nigeria as bandit rules Niger State. Hello, my wonderful people. This governor has been raising alarm over the activity in Niger State. Should I tell you something that the government of Nigeria is not bothered because it is fulfilling one of the greatest agenda and that is Islamizing you know, uh, the country. Although we have a population of a uh, lot of Muslims, however, uh, Buhari's agenda and plan is to ensure that the other population follows suit. In case you're not aware, uh, bandit yesterday even kidnapped students that were going to Islamic school, over 200 of them. The governor, you know what, said, you know what, I can't be bothered. He has abandoned the state and has traveled out of the country. Because when a governor goes to the Senate, eh, raise alarm that things are going from bad to worse. So can you guys send soldiers here to restore law and order? He said, you know, this Niger state is, has boundary with Abuja. Before you know it, they will come to Abuja. Nobody answered him. He thought about it and said, ah, 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 maybe I want to kill myself for nothing. It will interest you to know if you go and investigate very well. Probably he has relocated his family, you know, out of the country straight away. You never can tell. Things are happening. The governor is out of the country, yet the state is being taken over. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Subscribe if this is your first time. Thank you. Governor Sani Bello out of Nigeria as bandit rules Niger states. Governor Abubakar Sani Bello of Niger is at present not in Nigeria as bandits increasingly turned his state into a playground. The bandits' latest acts were the attack on several communities in Tangi, Washishi, and Bati, Batati. The bandits cropped their region of impunity with the kidnapping of over 200 students of Tangi, Islamayi school on Sunday early hours of the morning. But in a shock discovery, the chief press sec secretary to Governor Bello said the governor has left the country before the recent attack on the security mission. The governor who had left the country to expel all possibility of strengthening the state security architecture before the incident happened is expected back soon. He has, however, given directives to the security operative and state officials to do all they can towards ensuring the safety, the safety and return of the adopted Tinga Islamite children and others. Bandit on Sunday not only kidnapped the student of Salil Taku Islam, Islamic School in Tangier, they also kidnapped some passengers on a Sharon bus traveling to Mina. Two persons were shot at the cost of the massive of the mass adoption in Tango Rafi local government area. One of them was confirmed dead, while the other person is in a critical injured state in the hospital. The state governor is still gathering details. I don't know what is gathering now because there's no gathering here. The detailed security report on the attack. But if it's not, but if it's the emo state, they would have found them by now. Can you see that? And I am told us that they know who they are. They know who, where they are, but they will not touch them. They said they have their reasons. We reported to you. If you have not seen that news, please go to Apple Line Media under videos and, you know, get a breeze with all that is going on. Let's continue. The state governor is still gathering detailed security reports on the attack so as to take necessary measures to secure the release of those adopted. The press secretary said on Twitter, Niger State is a central Nigeria, has been in recent times been facing unrelenting attack by bandits and terrorists, leading to displacement of thousands of people from their villages. Yet, the governor jets out. And you think all is well. My people think again. You know, those of you who say, uh, blah, blah, you don't understand what's happening. Buhari does not. So why can't the army go to this state and help the people immediately? Why can't the army go to Imo state, um, that is in Imo state, be deployed to Niger state to restore peace and order? That's not the aim. The aim is to, uh, is to destroy the Igbos. You don't understand. It was Femi Fani Kayode who made a video exposing why he left APC. 
He, remember, he was a founding father of APC, Femi Fani Kayode, before joining PDP. He said during the time they were starting the whole thing, it was Buhari who called him into his bedroom. The time that the going was going, the rosy was rose. Yes, you understand my phrase, right? Just making a phone. You know, called him into his bedroom, and as they were talking, all of a sudden, he came to the Igbos. You know the way somebody is really pained and wants to really express himself, and all of a sudden, the tide, the atmosphere changed, and Buhari said, I will never forget. What is it, sir, that you will never forget? Oh, they killed our people. We will never forget. We will never forget. Oh, seriously? Yes, we will never forget. We will repay them. We never forget. Ah, the guy was like, what is happening in Nibu land? This is Femi Fanika, you're saying this. So. It's not ordinary. What's happening in Nibu land is not ordinary. There is more to it. And that's why you can see the whole, the whole, you know, the, the tenacity at which they are attacking the Igbos. Now, the disclaimer, this is not to say that anybody in Igbo land involving itself in crime is doing well. If you are doing it and they catch you, you are in trouble. Please don't involve yourself in any form of criminal activity. It's wrong. And if you involve yourself, you are a criminal. And you know what they do to criminals. So please, disclaimer, mm -hmm. we are not supporting criminal activity. However, we are saying that there is an architectural plan to deal with the Igbos, labeling them, calling them all kinds of names, whether it's true or wrong. Whether it's true or whether it's true or wrong, they just, you know, all in a bead. You know, by the let me tell you something about words. By the time you continuously, repeatedly start repeating words to people, people begin to begin to buy the idea, begin to say, okay, maybe, you know, you continuously call the Igbos, you can't call them criminals. They've labeled them a terrorist group, but bandits are bandits. <clears throat> and they are displacing people like no man's business. Children have not gone to school for how many years? I don't know what they think the country will turn into. Eh? When people, see, the way to really, you know, influence a generation, it starts from young, especially through education. But this government pays no attention because at the end of the day, they want to turn it into their own tyrant where some people are elite oppression. You see what you call oppression is a tip of the iceberg if God does not save us. They have that, that ideology to oppress, pull people down, make them feel subordinate to them. God will deliver us. Leave us a comment. Please don't forget to like us, share, subscribe. Click on the notification button so you can get all our latest news. God bless you. Bye for now.